This super quick video is in our engine snack series and features a fantastic tactical episode from Stockfish against Leela. Leela's uh, king is caught in the centre and its kingside pieces are undeveloped but it still isn't clear how to exploit this but Stockfish shows, shows the way. Um, yeah, I mean, this game features um, some uh, very useful tactical motifs, so uh, well worth drilling those into your head, because I'm sure you'll be able to use them in your own games. So we joined the, um, uh, the game after move 29 of the Stockfish Leela Season 18 Super Final Game 52. And uh, yeah, after an offbeat opening, Leela had uh, sort of continued in a hypermodern vein and really not developed anything at all. Um, but despite that, you know, there was sort of method to, to Leela's madness because it wasn't very easy at all to get at the, um, at the Black King. Um, however, you know, Stockfish had got control of the B-file and that sort of gave the first entry point into Black's position because not only does the rook, um, do the doubled rooks give... Um, potential invasion possibilities on the 7th or 8th rank. The rook is also attacking the e6 pawn, which is in front of the black king, and that, uh, well, there are various sacrificial possibilities with knight takes e6. But how to make it work? I mean, black's played f6, looking to, to try and exchange off the queens and uh, reduce white's attacking potential and then just play with the two bishops against uh, the weakened white um, queenside pawn structure. The stockfish came up with a fantastic move here, c5. So White's looking to play c5 to c6, just to um, destroy the d7 pawn, which is supporting the e6 pawn. Um, bishop takes c5 um, obviously allows queen takes g7. That can't be done. And something like f takes c5, I just go knight e6, takes rook takes c6, and rook takes c5. And I've got the double threat of rook takes c4, and also queen b3 check when the king is completely, hopelessly uh, trapped in the centre. Um, queen takes c5 is also quite interesting, but we've got the lovely idea knight takes c6 and e takes f6. We're threatening f takes g7, we're threatening rook takes c6, takes e4. It's complete carnage. Um, one nice line is king f7, and then we make use of our, um, of our b file uh, invasion possibilities. Rook and queen cover c7, so rook c7 is impossible. And after here, various ways to win, but uh, check here. Uh, check. Um, oh, sorry, queen g5. That was the one. Sorry. I think queen f3 probably works too. But king e6, queen g6 check, king d5, queen f7 check. I hadn't spotted this mate, and as you can see, still missed it even uh, having the moves in front of me. Uh, king e4 allows queen f3 checkmate. Very nice. So after c5, Leela played the most consistent move, which is queen takes e5, just looking to swap off the queens. And obviously, you know, if the queen moves away, then the queen is no longer attacking g7. We might get bishop takes c5. But, um, but now the whole focus switches. It switches from the weakness of black's king to um, the undeveloped black king side pieces. And we start exploiting this with rook b8. Black has to uh, take off. Rook takes and king f7 and um well for the moment black's pieces are um well just um rather constricted the rook on h8 um is loose so the bishop on f8 can't move but on the other hand how is white going to make anything of this after all the um uh white doesn't have that much firepower left but knight f3 was played threatening knight g5 check black takes with a bishop takes and then goes rook g8 um, unpinning basically bishop takes c5 is threatened and white goes bishop b4 and your first thought is really in this position okay defending the pawn on c5 but it's so much more than that um, if black goes bishop b7 there is the beautiful continuation actually I, 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 I uh, had a tactic uh, like this against Michael Adams uh, in one of my uh, in one of my games and uh, very beautiful c6 bishop d8 and now can you spot the move Ooh, bishop e7. What a gorgeous idea. Bishop takes c7, allows c7. And if we go, um, whoops, bishop c7, c takes d7, and d8 queen is mate. So black played uh, g5, takes, rook takes, and king h1. But still, there were an awful lot of problems here for black. If you try and move the, the bishop out of the way like this, I go rook d8, hitting the d7 pawn king e7 and rook h8. I hit the bishop on h6 and I'm threatening c6 check and c7 queen. 
Leela decided that um, that e4 was the best idea, but after c7, c6 rather, bishop takes b4. We're attacking the rook on f8, the bishop on f8. Remember, bishop f b4 c7. Uh, the queen, well, black couldn't stop uh, the queen without giving up material. But rook c5, c8 queen uh, takes takes was an easy win for white and stockfish converted. So really just um, a gorgeous sequence of, uh, of tactical ideas. Um, I thought in particular this uh, lovely idea Bishop B7 was uh, well worth seeing. And as I said, I, uh, I played this idea against uh, Michael Adams in one of my games back in uh, oh, 1991. So um, it's definitely something that can crop up in your games. Okay, thanks very much for watching.